Hi and welcome to another video from Class 47 Peter. You will have to excuse any snuffling or sniffling that I may do. It's because when I woke up this morning I had the sneezes. <laughs> That's all I need. Anyway, so today's video is going to be something a little different. Because I haven't uploaded this sort of video before and I never filmed this sort of video before. Let alone I've never ever considered on planning or even thinking about doing this idea basically so in that respect this video is special in a way it is approximately 7.50 in the morning which is quite early now there is a reason why I'm doing this video today this video is going to be a sort of documentary style video which is a first timer for me because again as I've said I haven't done this sort of video before I've never really it's been the sort of video that I've left untouched and never considered or bothered doing before but the reason I'm doing it today is because today we are going for a day out in London now I have been to London before I've been there this will be in my fourth time I think that I've been there the last times I've been there I've been there by coach and the last well the last few times I've been there it's mainly been to do with my sister because she used to do dancing there well on the odd occasion she would and so we would mainly go up to London to watch her dance but we would look around London as well I remember on the second time I went to London we went on a bus tour However, like I said, the past times I've been to London, I've been there by coach. Today, we are travelling by train. Fun fact for you here, um, I have been on trains on Heritage Railways before, like the Seven Valley, the Vale of Rydal, the Churnit Valley Railway, the West Somerset, the Chase Waterline, and so on. But I haven't been on a train on the mainline network before so this will be a first time for me so that reason today that is all what this video is about well partially but still this is the main reason why I'm doing this video this is something I thought they would document there however, a bit of gossip for you here though there was the occasion when I very nearly did go on a train this was going back in the old red and grey days of Virgin Trains before they had any Pendolinos and Voyagers the good old days basically where it's going back when I was a kid so it's quite some years ago where we were planning to go on London and ironically that was going to be on the train however that plan went out the window and I was a bit annoyed and upset by that but today's my chance because today I will be travelling on a train which the plan is this morning we are going to well we are going to catch the train from Wolverhampton we were originally considering going to Beskett to Birmingham New Street and then catching a train from there up to London Euston However, we are going to Wolverhampton instead, because it will be a bit quicker. And we are travelling on Virgin Trains, which will be quicker than London Midland, because with London Midland they stop at every station. This isn't the case with Virgin. They do stop at some stations, but not all of them. So we will get there quicker. Well, I trust we will anyway. So the plan is this morning, we are going to go to Wolverhampton Station on the car. And when I say we, I'm not the only one going, it's my family going as well. So we're going to be going to Wolverhampton Station first by car. Then we're going to catch the 9.45 Virgin Train service to London Euston from Wolverhampton. And then we're going to be, after we get to London Euston, we're going to be getting on the Tube. Now, I have been on the Tube train before. 
on the underground. That was the first time I went to London. And then from there, well, truth be told, I actually don't know what station we're getting off at. But I will inform you on that later on in the video. And then from there, well, that's where our day out begins, really. I probably won't document all of the day out, but we'll see. What we will be doing today is we will be going around a couple of museums. And we'll also be looking around London as well. So it's going to be like a sightseeing sort of thing. Um, I can't actually remember the names of the museums at the top of my head. So typical for me to forget them at this time. However, one thing I will point out... One thing in particular we will be doing today is we will be looking round museums. Sorry about that then, it's my... I think I want to come down with a cold or something. It just had to happen at this time, didn't it? <laughs> so yeah, we are going to look around two museums today. Which is the main reason for going up there. I can't remember the names of the museums at the top of my head. Typical for me to forget them at this time. But I'll probably be re-encounting on that later on this video. It's going to be like a sightseeing sort of thing, really. We'll just be looking around London. One thing I should point out about this video, I don't know if I'm going to do any more of these stalled videos later on. Because that will be up to me. So I'll have to see. I may decide to do more again in the future. But then I may not to decide on the... I may not consider doing one again. And if I am going to do one of these sorts of videos again, it's only going to be something that I feel is going to be worthy of a video. This is definitely something worthy of a video, because this will be an experience, a new experience for me, travelling on a train, a mainline train, a virgin train. <laughs> So that is the reason why I'm documenting this today. In the future I might, again, do more videos, but we'll have to see. Never say never, no, as they say. But for now I'm not promising anything. Like, for example, I wouldn't do documentaries of me going out to my train spotting journeys, because I travel there by car. I'm not the one that drives, because I don't have a driving license, it's my dad that does the driving. So that's a bit of trivia there for you. But anyway, so... I'll have to love you and leave you now. Because we've got the train to catch. In a while. Okay, so it's now half past eight in the morning. And so we're now... Preparing to go to the station. I'm just carrying this bag out to the car. Which, for those curious, this is the car we are going in. Yeah, I know that one wheel there is a bit dirty, but oh well. And this is the old Vauxhall Sephira. But again, I'm just showing you this, for those that are curious. Right, so the bag is now in the car, which I have just taken out to. And um, this is all our packed lunches for the day. Uh, the reason why it's going in the seating area here is because, well, for a start we already have two rucksacks in the back. Which will show you the window, as you can see. But the reason why we're keeping the food in this area is because, well, this is where the guide dog needs to go. It's not my guide dog. I think I mentioned this before, but I'll say it again. It's my mum's guide dog. Just pointing that out. And so we need the space in the boot for the guide dog to go into. You've seen him before. If you've been on my Instagram account, which I'm now on, you'll see a couple of photos of him. There's a couple of photos of him on my Twitter account, and I did give him an appearance in one of my videos. And I think I've already mentioned that before as well, actually, about him being a guide dog in that one particular video, but I thought I'd mention it again. So because he needs to go in here... And because there needs to be room in here, that is the why this bag is in here. 
and also because he has a habit for drooling when there's food about. So that's just explaining that. And one thing I should have mentioned earlier as well, we will be arriving back at 8 o'clock, which I will be documenting the journey coming back as well. So it's going to be late, but it should be a good and long day ahead of us. Why would you do that, though? Most diabetics just go, oh, I've got to take my money back. Sure. The medical assist, what not, Jess? <laughs> That's dinner time, so... Would that be fucking mouth works? Well, it's just nice. You can't get that. Like, can you gotta go all the way around, isn't it? And then you hit another round there. And everybody else who's wanted to go that way like, because they can't get up that end. So, it's a That's supposed to be out, today, I don't know, indeed. Where was me? I'm trying to go to the dining. Everywhere we're with it. Roadwork, roadwork, roadwork. Good day, Neil. Look at all the roadwork. Still closed, I think. Okay, so we're now at Wolverhampton Station, as you can clearly see. A little bit of gossip for you here. I first came to this station in 1999, when I came here to see the Flying Scotsman, which my dad took me to see. I do have that footage on an old cassette tape, which I've recently dug out to look back on. In fact, I am actually considering uploading that footage to YouTube. So that's something to look out for. This station has actually changed, though over the years. Now, the last time I came here was a couple of years ago and I went in to see a rail tour that was all by Class 57s. Because, well, for a start, this footbridge here, this never used to be here. You've got the siding at the back there, as I remember it. The platforms, well, they haven't really changed, to be honest. Although, some years ago, that station over there, waiting room, wasn't there. It was just a load of sidings. It was only before, some years ago, only these two stations. So we're waiting to catch the 9.45 service to London. OK, so when they get on the train, it's actually not a Pendolino, it's two Super Voyages. So let the journey commence. There's a 323 over there.
Three, two, three, two, one, four. Cowsley Station. Your journey. Let's consume nothing more dinner on the nine forty five service. Lord, just leave the sand one and do me. She's an Amazon. And the day of chocolate bar. Yum. That's interesting. It's a some sort of train wash station there. We are now arriving at Birmingham New Street. Please take care when oh, you the train. Right there. We hope you've enjoyed Drop. your journey. 
in the 323. And another one. That could be the depot where they're kept. Yeah. What's going on, guys? Gridlock Fitness, subscribe. Yeah, that's Gridlock Fitness for you. Subscribe to his channel. And there's me. Hello. Oh, there's a train then. It's like we're in the tube already. It's all dark, isn't it? Okay, when I'm in the new street, there's a pendulum over there. Huh? And there is in the back of it, if they can't see it, a cross country 170. And just departing now is a 350. Yeah. 350 to 470. Yeah. And there's another 350 there. Yeah. There's the airport. Look at that. Just before Manston Green, we had a plane coming into land, which we missed. Didn't film it. But not to worries. <laughs> So this is Birmingham International. There's 57 there, we're just passing through. Rugby. That was a DIS 57 parked up then, you just saw. Oh, we 
tilting around the bend. I think this is the 221 Super Voyager. Probably doesn't look like on the footage, but it is tilting. So under Newston, sir. That was a boy, Jeff. What's going on, guys? Subscribe, guys. As you can see, there's a tube train there. Um, We're on the way there. Yeah. It's raining. Typical of Great Britain. So I don't think it's too far now until we get to London and Houston. Just pass it on. That's one of those overground trains. Is that the old one? Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Three fifties. It's a dusty bin. A couple, should I say? at London Euston. Sign off stop for this service. Please take care when leaving the train. Make sure you have everything with you.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Please take a moment to be sure you have belongings with you Ooh. and please take care when stepping from Stop the train. Thanks, thank you for travelling with us. Twelve twenty-six, and we're now going into the British Museum. Should be interesting. Okay, it's seven minutes past one, peeps, and we're here in the British Museum, of course. And here is some Roman jewellery. Thought you might be interested in this. That's a talk. Very impressive. And there's some more over here as well. There's some more up here. We've even got some old Roman money over there. Which my finger is pointing to. Because this camera, this is actually my phone I'm using, it doesn't have the zoom in mode. This is quite interesting. It's a automation in the form of a ship about 1585. And it's actually a clock.
Very interesting. There's also a lot of other clocks. Grandfather clocks. This is basically in the clocks and watches section. Okay, so we're now leaving the British Museum, which I think it was good. We're now going to catch a bus because we are going to go to the Natural History Museum and then after that we're going to go to the Science Museum to see the Stevenson's rocket, the real one. Okay, peeps, slight change of plan. We are now going to the Natural History Museum and the Science Museum on the tube. Things that we couldn't find the bus stop. Let's allow a bus that stops there. So the tube train is now approaching to Knights Bridge. Okay, we're now off the train and we're at Knightsbridge, so now we're going to the museums. Okay, so here we are at the National History Museum. And then after this we'll be going in the Science Museum, hopefully. Fingers crossed, that is the plan. We're going in here to have a look at the dinosaur skeletons. Okay, so we're now in the National History Museum, and so here we have the skeleton of a Diplodocus. Imagine if they were still alive today, I wouldn't want to be chased by one of them.
Sometimes a storm may force away the track where we find the coastline or means such as here at my feet in the sea. But here is something more mysterious, a false card of obviously died in the Here's the skeleton of the Spegosaurus, what we've come to see. Which we're in the Earth Hall now. What's a beast? Okay, so we're now leaving the Natural History Museum, and so we're now going to the Science Museum, where we're going to see the Stevenson's rocket. Okay, so we're now in the Science Museum, and this is all that we came here for, the Stevenson's rocket in all its glory. Now this is the real deal that you're seeing, this is not the replica, this is the real one. It took ages to find it, but we have found it. I'll probably get a picture of this as well and put it on my Twitter and Instagram. We've also got this, as well as the world's first steam engine, the rocket, we've also got this one. It's just some Colombian railway locomotive. I have no idea what it's called. But its number is 81868. We've also got this here, the Puffin Billy. Again, like the Stevenson's Rockies. This is the real one, not the replica. Thought I'd get one last shot of the rocket before we leave. Which I am using my phone for this clip. I used my camera for the other one, found for this one. Definitely worth coming down here for this. As this was the sole reason why we came down here. Okay, so we're now getting on our bus. To Okay, so we've just got off the bus at Piccadilly Circus. Okay, so we're now getting on the bus to Houston. Okay, so we're now on the bus to Houston. Well, Warren Street actually, but we're going to Houston anyway. Warren Street. Okay, so we've got off the bus and we're now at Euston Station, which we have walked about eight minutes from Warren Street to here. And there's the underground station there.
because we're just coming up to the entrance for Euston Station. Okay, so we're now at London Euston Station, and it looks like the service we're getting on is going to be a Virgin Pendolino. Oh, look, there's a 57 over there. 57308. DRS1. That's a nice treat. Would have filmed myself going into the station, but. <laughs> oh well. You got me filming inside anyway. So it's not the best of both worlds. Virgin Voyager taking us here and the Pendolino taking us back. Just a quick shot of the 57, 57308. County of Staffordshire. A cop. We're now going to board the Virgin Pendolino. Should be a good ride. Well, I'm hoping it's going to be a good ride, but I think it will. The service was great that we had on the Voyager. Even if we did leave a few minutes late. But still, never mind. Oh, there's a Pendolino coming in. I'm actually quite looking forward to this ride. So we'll be getting in the front coach. Speaking all, welcome to passengers 2103, Virgin Train Service, route of Wolverhampton, calling at Milton Keynes Central, Rugby, Coventry, Birmingham International, Birmingham New Street, due to riding to Wolverhampton at 11 pm this evening. First class is located at the rear of the train, coach is GHJ and K. This is for first class ticket holders only and does include the vestibule areas between coaches. Standard class at the front of the train, carriages A through to you. Please send my apologies, there are no seat reservations for this service this evening it's due to a technical failure of the onboard systems. We have two dedicated quiet zones on board today, coach A and H. If you have taken a seat in there, please note the use of mobile phones strictly prohibited and please keep noise to a minimum for the comfort of your fellow passengers. We do have CCTV on board for your safety and security and would request all baggages stowed in the space provided. Please do not leave any bags in the aisles, in front of doors or in the vestibule areas. I just remind all customers this is a non-smoking service that does include the use of e-cigarettes whilst on board. I ask all those passengers who have taken a seat within the first class carriages as carriages G, H, J and K to have their tickets available for inspection. On behalf of the crew, do hope you have a pleasant journey this evening.
ladies and gents, flight to Malcolm, passengers, joiners at Houston. Uh, flight to make you aware, the shop is open, but situated in Coach C. You have a selection of hot drinks, cold drinks, snacks, crisps, sandwiches, and confectionery. Now, unfortunately, there's no card machine today, so it will be only cash only. But, thank you.
We have to the Coventry. This is Coventry. Well, we've just had to move on to the next carriage because there's a medical emergency on the front carriage, and so we've had to move into this one. Have you got your shoes on? But nevertheless, okay. we'll be departing soon. There's a 143 departing Coventry. Just to contrast, but it's going to go until the train departs. <laughs> We're now leaving Coventry at last. And so we're on the move again. Welcome to this Virgin train to Wolverhampton, calling Birmingham International, Birmingham New Street. customers for their patience and understanding why we have the paramedics in attendance to the service. We are running approximately 30 minutes behind schedule now. Please do accept my apologies for the delay to your day. Hope you can appreciate once the paramedics are in attendance, we do have to keep the train at the station. Those customers who want to seat in carriage A, if you do want to return back and claim your luggage, you're also free to do so. And I'd like to thank you, those customers who did come forward to help this evening. The next calling point will be Birmingham International. Once again, please set my apologies for the delay to your journey this evening. We are now arriving at Birmingham International. Please take care when leaving the train. Make sure you have everything with you. Please do not leave items unattended on the railway and be aware of any suspicious items or behaviour. Report these to a member of staff or police.
this lane. That's what the AG say, where is he like that? And like, we're about one o'clock, two o'clock, three o'clock. Turning off the light for. I don't have to pay for the taxpayer once they come in the morning. And I don't have to pay for the You best get stained in. Yeah, probably from the floor from here. Where have we gone then? We must have been diverted around somewhere. Come down. Yeah. So, so we just passed Beskitt, as I said. We don't be far from here. We must have been diverted around somewhere. Yeah, so we can finish all the back. When leaving the train, make sure you have everything with you. Please do not leave items unattended on the railway and be aware of any suspicious items or behaviour. Report these to a member of staff or police. No, I've not all gone to. This is our destination. Speaking, we are now on the approach to the Hampton final calling point for this service. Before leaving the train, can I ask you to check your all your personal belongings with you and you take care of it stepping down from the train onto the platform. Once again, please send my apologies for the delay to the service. This is due to a customer being taken ill at Coventry and paramedics having to attend at the train. Those customers who have been delayed by more than 30 minutes, you are entitled to claim compensation. Please pick up a leaflet from the station on the exit. Or alternatively, go to the Virgin Trains website.
www.visiontrace.com, click what, contact us and select delay and replay. Shortly arriving into Wolverhampton yeah. where this service terminates. All change please, all change. Bit of a tongue in cheek announcement. It's cheeky that
when I'm just getting off the train. So now we're now back at Wolverhampton, so now we're going to go back to the car, the car park, and then, well, go home. See, it's been a fantastic journey. Disregard of the delay, but you know, that was because someone was taken on, so that can't really be helped. But yeah, it's been a fantastic ride. Okay, so it is actually the next day now, and as you can see now, we are now back at home. Reason why it's the next day is because we did arrive back home late. <laughs> so that is why I've saved it till the next day to record just this last scene. So I think the day went pretty well actually. Got to see the Stevenson's rocket, the real one, not the replica. Then we got to go around the science museum, but of course that's where the Stevenson's rocket was. Got to go around the National History Museum, which was another. Got to see all those dinosaur skeletons, some of interest. And the British Museum as well. And apart from that, I also got to ride on the tube, which was nice. And also, well, of course, ride on the train, which was probably the highlight of the whole day. Went on a Voyager on the way up and a 
Pendle in on the way back. Of course you all know that, so it's pointless me telling you that anyway, but I'm still going to tell you anyway. So, yeah. Um, some things will look slightly changed around a few plans, like, well, going from the British Museum to the Science Museum and the National History Museum, the original plan was to go by bus, but because we did not know the bus route, <laughs> we then end up caught catching the tube. But you know, to be fair, the previous times we've been to London we've never been on a bus. The only bus we've been on is the sightseeing bus, but we haven't been on a public transport bus before. You know, to be fair, the tube is probably the fastest way to get a boat. If you don't know the bus route, that is. To be honest though, I don't think the tube is very people friendly. Well, not for disabled people anyway, because there's no lifts there for a start but then there's the escalators to think of to be honest but yeah I mean a few plans have been like changed about I mean originally as well I do believe the plan was to go back to London Euston on the tube but you know that plan was changed around but that's how the cookie crumbles because we ended up catching a bus and we had to walk the rest of the way oh. So there you go, but, you know, that's just something you have to live with. For those of you that are curious, I did bring something back with me, which I got from the Science Museum, which I'll just show you. And so this is what I came back with. It's a rotating sculpture of some sort, which I got from the Science Museum, as I said. And I got it because I think it looks really cool. And interestingly enough, this was the last one they had in stock, so I got really lucky. Because as soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, I want one of those. And what you do is, it does take up a battery, but what you do is, you basically use your hand to. It's basically like that Newton's cradle over there. It walks in a similar sort of way. But yeah, I mean, it's really cool. You can have hours of fun with this. It's awesome, isn't it? I think it's really good. Not like the Newton's cradle over there. It works in, works in a similar sort of way. I did not get that from the Science Museum. I've had that one for ages, but I'm just sort of showing you it works in the same sort of way. There is a reason why it takes up a battery, but I can't remember. So trust me to forget that. But yeah, it looks really cool. It's quite interesting to look at. It looks really good on display in my bedroom, I think. So it looks really cool. It's things like that that I'm interested in. So that brings an end to this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it, and I'll see you again soon for the next video. Ta-ta for now.